Hello. So yes, I, I'm, I'm going to quickly introduce some of the things of the recent cyber commands in Belgium from the MOD. So uh, you might be aware in Belgium we recently started a cyber command, which is the fifth operational space, a bit late, but it is there, so that's important. Uh, a quick, quick overview, you know, cyberspace is on different levels, different layers. Um, we're splitting that up and trying to keep them in mind, as well the physical as the social level. Um, that brings us to those threats. You are all aware of those threats. There's nothing new. Just as a quick uh, reminder, uh, these are the topics of interest on uh, on the military sites. So about a year ago, up to a day, so tomorrow it will be a year ago that we officially have our cyber command in Belgium. Um, uh, so I think as a Belgian, we can be proud of that, finally. Um, but that brings also other opportunities. Um, so that brought the opportunity to build kind of a cyberspace framework um, with different focus areas um, that we can split up in, on those different layers. Um, and every focus area is an opportunity or a place where uh, people in the military work in regards to cyberspace. Uh, why am I here also to talk about the cyber reserve? Because uh, myself, I became a, a military reserve uh, 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 participants uh, quite recently. Um, it's opportunity to have dual hats, your civilian hat, like we talked earlier with the other presentations. You're in a way a civilian person, but in some cases you can have a military hat. Um, so other people also do it. We have a, like a top manager in Microsoft that uh, is also joining us, uh, Miriam Bruders. Um, just to show it's it's not only on techie level, but it's also on a more abstract level opportunities. Um, there are different paths. Uh, well, government employees, they can have that path too, but you can also have, like, if you know students or yourself, you're students, and you want to have, like, paid days where you work for the MOD in cyberspace, you can do your thesis if you want and potentially employment if, if that's interesting for you. Um, but you can also go for the private company or, or company, uh, like, I have another life next to it, like me, which is a bit of win-win-win model where you have kind of other opportunities in the MOD to do some things. Um, um, for uh, the MOD, it's good to have external people like uh, taken into the, the team for knowledge sharing, uh, different views, different opinions, and so on. And for the company, it's also an interesting because it gives different views and the person comes back with something else to the office. So different ways of working together, like a few days a, war, uh, a year, like uh, I'm doing. Uh, potentially also collaboration in time of crisis. When people were asking me, would you like to become a military reservist? Honestly, my reaction was me, military. Um, but afterwards, I was also a bit scared. Can people force me to do and go to war and so on? Which uh, in the end, the answer was, uh, it's voluntary. So if they ask you, do you want to help us? No, please, no. So um, that, that gave some comfort and in times of war you already have your base in the MOD, you're like in a way a legitimate target like we spoke earlier, but in the other hand you're your IT person behind your keyboard and your screen, you have your rank, you, you don't really necessarily are the person that's being sent on the field with a weapon to be killed by others, I mean purely in a selfish way. Um, so that gave a, a comfort to me like uh, I will not be abused, it's an opportunity to to give back to my country but also get back from my country and, and build a stronger um, a stronger res resilience uh, nation in a way and, and more, pe more and more people realize that with what's happening today in our society. We were in peace for quite some time, let's hope it stays this way but it, it reminds us what um, that it's, it's not a given. A few bad news for all of you that are not Belgian. Sorry, you cannot join us, unfortunately. Um, so there are a few requirements. Um, just as a, a quick overview, there's a, a, a training also. We choose the middle training, which is uh, the military training in shortened version of only four weeks. So that's, that's cool. It's kind of an adventurous uh, element. And that brings you into opportunities to be working in all the areas we have in cyber, from uh, abstract project management to the techie, uh, uh, having fun, finding, uh, uh, pen testing the networks, uh, finding vulnerabilities, patching, doing sysadmin stuff, incident response, and, and so on. Uh, it also, for some people, is an opportunity if you want to do some things legally. It's also an opportunity instead of doing it illegally. Um, uh, there are laws covering it. Maybe Belgium is doing it or not. That's a different uh, topic, but there are laws. So that's just a quick heads up. Uh, so if you're interested, there's an email address. Uh, join cyber at uh, mil.be. Uh, feel free to talk to me if you have questions. And uh, thank you.